good morning. It's absolutely Baltic today. It got down to freezing last night and it's going to do the same tonight. Oh, I didn't leave the house as early as I wanted to, so I wanted to leave at the dawn of crack, but it's still early enough. It's just after seven. And I've had to go a bit of a different route because they've put a new path down. So I'm kind of walking towards that bit to see if they've finished it. And then if they have, normal service will resume tomorrow. Yeah, oh, it's really quiet. It's the incinerator. I had pizza last night and had a good skin full. So I'm a bit, uh, a bit worse for wear. Oh, I can see the lighthouse. I can see the lighthouse flashing. A bit time dark. Cool. Uh, but at least I'm not as bad as I was last Monday because I had a kebab. Fuck me, my stomach. <laughs> Jesus, I thought I was going to turn inside out at one point. Well, that's what they've done. This is the new path. I guess it's a little bit better than the muddy shit that we'll have to go through. And it's okay for the horses because it's actually a bridle path, so... Yeah, so what am I going to talk about today? I'm going to talk about this. It's back on my tellies next week, Sunday the 19th of November, and it means Christmas to me more than this pile of shit. Crowds. That's how shit it is. Anyway, rumour mill goes mental on who's going into the jungle. You never actually literally find out until the show starts. But you know, there's speculation. You got your soap stars, you've got your sports personalities, presenters, um, YouTube people. Um, I might be on it next year. Fuck off. There is speculation that after Matt Hancock's um, appearance in last year's... One of these two might be going in. Hamster-faced queen killer Liz Truss has been uh, rumoured to be going into the jungle. We asked them their opinion of the monarchy. Do you know what they said? They said, abolish them. We've had enough. We are all devastated by the news that we have just heard from Balmoral. The death of Her Majesty the Queen. I'd like to see her eating a bit of cock. <laughs> and the other one is horse-faced, lactose intolerant racist Nigel Farage. But anyway, the, the main thing I watch it for is for these two. Well, I can tell you that today's challenge is called... Putting ants balls in your mouth. <laughs> you kind of beat the banter between these two. It's hilarious. And when they've got somebody in mind in that jungle who they want to target, they will rip that piss out of them. What's tiny little Dennis doing? Oh, <laughs> I thought actually Dennis was a little bit short there with Stanley. <laughs> Dennis Wise, he's a very small man. We've got a quick recap of what that challenge involved. What? Little Dennis Wise, oh. I've sailed down a cliff like that. Oh, this is a very big cliff, but then again, I'm a very small man. It's because I'm small. That, that, you said uh, it. Me and you're perfect. You <laughs> said it. <laughs> I can't, I can't leave me out of it. You see what he said about you there? How cheeky. I feel, like a, I feel like a giant stood next to you two. Smash his face in. Somebody in the studio thinks he's taller than you. Back, back to back. I barely back to back. Oh! I think he's done it. I think he's done it. Yeah! Dennis, you've made my life. And if it's hamster face or horse face, they're in for a fucking treat. 
Liz Truss. Liz Truss. Her cheese free. Good yeah. one. Put it down. Put, Put it, it down. Because apparently her political career is over. It's over. According, according to, to them. Matt Hancock. Them there. Anyway, Matt Hancock's been there. Uh, he's been jumping on some fucking reality show bandwagon bollocks. The final recruit in for processing is number one, Matt. I'm pretty used to the media screaming in my face and telling me that I'm rubbish. You got anything in there that might hurt me or you? Nope. Any weapons? No. Empty. Look at me. Because Why did you say no with that frowning attitude on your face? I... Do not give me any attitude. No. I'll tell you something that's really fascinating me. Really fascinating me, because with all due respect, you're not a good-looking guy, are you? Pubes on your chest. <laughs> Moobs. <laughs> so how did you do it? Matty babe. Huh? Weasel face. Seriously. Put that on. <laughs> I want to give a huge big shout out to this amazing lass. She was gutted that I didn't mention her last week. So I want to give a shout out to the wonderfully talented and beautiful Millie Molly Moo. Yeah, maybe biased because she's my daughter and everything, but she's still amazing. Big shout out to Molly. Huge shout out to Molly. The beautiful, the talented Molly. I managed to get me Tesco Christmas book slot. <laughs> I managed to get me, me Tesco Christmas slot booked. <laughs> oh, oh God, you can pass sorry. Can you hear them all whinnying? But yeah, that's for the 23rd of December. So I'm going to get my salmon and my dessert. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be nice. Um, sound like they're singing. I managed to get that one day booked off. So I am going to be wrapping my Christmas presents that day after I've watched my stunningly beautiful daughter perform on the Sunday. Apparently Radio 1's going to be there. Should be entertaining. Got that sun. So who have we had in the past then, you might ask? Well, we've had Dobby-faced shit digger Gillian McKeith. She's been in. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get Bob in. Bob. Bob. OK, bring the oxygen in, please. Katie Price. What did you think I'd be like, seriously? Well, like, you are what I thought you'd be. What, bitch? No. No, you're a publicity seeker. Johnny Rotten. Sean Ryder. He was awesome. He was class. He had his hand and he savaged <laughs> by a snake and he took it like a fucking trooper. Oh, you dirty b I will pull you out. Shawnee, how are you? All right. <laughs> um, but we've had quite a few. Hiya. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You right? 
pretty horses. But yeah, I enjoy it, I love it. <coughs> exactly, that's what I thought as well. A bit of a critic back there. But yeah, that's just to name just a couple. There's been absolutely loads since it started. But yeah, the main reason is I, I, I watch it every year is for these two. Hello and welcome to today's Bush Tucker Trail. We're going to have some crack for you, dear. You, the viewing public, have been voting and we can now reveal that the celebrity facing today's challenge is Will Meller. There was an EastEnders soap star who went in and he was hilarious. He was terrified, but he was just so entertaining. Can't remember his name, but he played Robbie. <laughs> Robbie Jackson. You pedicure. How do you do it? What do I? Why? What do I? Cool. I've had to put my gloves on because my hands are fucking freezing. Fuck. Right. She keeps pissing off and I'm shouting for her. I'm sure she's getting deep. Anyway, who else have we had in there? We had Gemma Collins in there for all of three minutes. Which I, if she had stuck it out, she would have probably won it. If anyone can do this and keep the team strong, it's going to be me. <laughs> and then, of course, when we had COVID, they couldn't go flying out to Australia. So they filmed it in a haunted castle <laughs> in Wales. This is an Avocado smoothie. Any idea? Oh, it's a no toe. It's a toe. Blended chicken's feet. And go. That's it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Keep going, love. That's it. You need to finish. You need to go. And she's getting to the end of the cup. Go on, Dick. You've got a bit more at the end. You've got to tip it, tip it, tip it, tip it. Oh, it's still a bit more. Still a bit more. Hey! 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 I can't wait for them, are Because the temperatures are supposed to go even lower. <sighs> Tis the season. Woo, squirrel. Woo, squirrel. Saw a squirrel dive bombing before. She scared shit out of it. <laughs> Super speed. <laughs> Off a cliff. And we have to say goodbye, but be back with us at the same time next week for another edition of Top of the Pop. See you then. Bye.